So I have a bunch of movies on my Mac, and they're all waiting to be watched, yet I don't want to watch them on my Mac. I want to watch them while I'm on the go with my iPhone. So how do I do this? Well, you could selectively convert each movie and load it into iTunes, then sync iTunes with your iPhone, yet doing this takes up so much time, takes up so much storage on your mobile device, whether it's your iPhone or your iPad, that it's just not a convenient way to watch your movies. But there is a way that solves all of those problems, and that's an app in the iTunes App Store called Air Video HD. You can see it here. What it does is it allows you to stream movies from your Mac to your iPhone or iPad over the internet so that you don't need to store anything locally. Now the first thing you'll want to do after downloading the app to your iPhone or iPad is go into Air Video's uh, website and that's here. Now you need to download this server to install on your Mac and that's going to allow the two devices to talk to each other. So we'll go ahead and download Air Video server for Mac. There we go. Now once it's downloaded and you've installed it, you're going to get this little menu item here in your menu bar. You see it up in the upper right. Now you'll go into preferences. Now here in preferences we've got uh, a few different things. What we can do is we can add the folder that we actually want to uh, sync between our iPhone and our um, Mac computer. So I've got one that's here, movies and TV. Actually I already have it uh, added here so I'm not going to do that. But you would add a folder then you're going to click enable access from the internet and enable automatic port mapping and you're going to get a server pin that you see here. Now I've grayed it out in this video but it'll be there and you want to make note of that server pin because that's what you're going to type in to your iPhone. So now let's take a look at on the iPhone side of things exactly what we need to do to get started. Okay, so now I have my iPhone up and you can see I've got Air Video HD already installed. So let's go ahead and open Air Video HD and we've got a few different uh, servers running here. But you won't have any running to start with. Uh, instead you're going to have this plus icon in the upper left corner. So let's click on that. You'll want to add your server. Now here's this where you're going to enter that server pin that you took note of within the uh, Air Video server uh, on your Mac. So if you want to, you can go ahead and click open that again. But here you'll enter the uh, server pin and then hit add. Now we've already done that, so I've got my MacBook ready to go here. You can see it says available on local network, so we'll click that. Now you'll see that folder that I specified earlier called Movies and TV is now showing up. It's going to refresh the videos in there. And look at that. We've got all of our movies that are actually stored on our Mac computer showing up on the iPhone. We can go ahead and click on one of those. And we can play it. And uh, actually, because we're hooked up to the Mac right now, it's playing the movie right on our Mac computer. But it would just play it on your iPhone by default. So you can see Air Video works like a charm using your iPhone and using uh, the Air Video server right here on your Mac computer to get all those movies from your Mac right onto your iPhone to watch. Now of note, you do have to have your Mac running to get these uh, videos to be streamed to your iPhone. But if you have your Mac on and you've got internet connection on your iPhone, You'll be just fine and be able to watch all those movies that you've just downloaded to your uh, Mac computer.